And now Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Paul Bean. All right, let's start off with one warning. All the advisories, all the winter storm watches have backed off with a lot of that snow that moved out over the weekend. The avalanche warning still in effect for the areas of Montpelier and Malad City, well down in the south corner of the state. That's mainly because of that loose snow that has fallen over the last two days. So just be careful if you're in some of the mountain passes down that way. Now moving over to the storm track, you'll notice we're not adding to that snow, at least not tonight. Storm tracker almost completely clear. A little bit of a flare up all the way down there by Burley, as you can see once my name gets off the screen down by Blur Burley, a little bit of a flare up. But besides that, it's been relatively clear. We were expecting at least just a couple scattered storms here and there through today. They've all since pushed out and tonight's just being replaced with a basically partly cloudy night. It's going to be on the cold side, but at least we won't see any more snow added on while we're doing that. Of course, almost all of that system going out into Wyoming, even further into the Dakotas already. You can see a nice formed dry slot completely over the state right now. And then that next wave of clouds on its way in going to hit us on Wednesday and bring a little bit more of that snow in. A lot of those temperatures are going to go down, so it will fall as snow. I know Pocatello on this last system, it was mostly rain, but moving forward, it is going to shift shift back to snow. 26 right now in Pocatello, 21 in Idaho Falls, lower than some of those lows we saw this weekend. We were in the 40s for the highs and just around freezing for the lows. So this is a definite shock again to see all these temperatures quickly drop in the mountains, even in the teens already. And ooh, we're seeing some single digits overnight, 10 and 12 in Blackfoot and Pocatello, but almost everywhere else seeing those single digits. Lava at nine, Afton one, Jackson zero, a negative six at Yellowstone. And the coldest temperature almost always is over in Stanley, but right now it's negative eight compared to Chalice, which is in the same county only at five. So it's going to be a rough night if you're over in the central mountains. We're seeing those temperatures drop fast and they're not recovering as we hit tomorrow because we're only getting to around 30 in Pocatello and that's the warmest temperature on the map besides Burley and Twin Falls. A lot of those temperatures falling in those mid 20s. Of course, 26 in Blackfoot and Idaho Falls, low 20s over in Jackson and Driggs upper teens in Yellowstone. So we're seeing those temperatures much cooler now. These are the lows basically from this weekend and they're gonna be the highs for tomorrow. Taking a quick look at that uh, Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast, you can tell that the temperatures start to recover a little bit as that snow comes back in and it takes its time, but it's going to be weaker each day. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, it's scattered every day, but it gets weaker and weaker as it goes on. And you're going to see that across the board. Idaho Falls sees more solid snow. If the further north you are, the more likely you are going to see snow on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday scattering out and then Sunday and Monday seeing a little bit of a replacement in there as the temperatures head downwards and as we follow the pattern further north, strong storms from Wednesday to Friday. And then finally over in the mountainous region, seeing temperatures dip even lower. Of course, you're seeing the negatives overnight. And then throughout the Tetons, seeing the temperatures dip into those teens almost permanently for the rest of the week. And temperatures, it's going to bring in the snow with it. More snow. We'll yeah. take it. All right. Well, thank you, Paul.